Hello friends, in this video we will understand how to draw the plan of a window. It is important to understand how built elements are depicted when they are cut or not cut by a section plane. Let us first make a 3D of the window for understanding this. We will use this 3D drawing to derive the plan of the window. This is how a window will look from top. Before going further, let us name its parts. Mind you, no frame or shutter has been put in the drawing at this stage. The two vertical surfaces are the jam of the window. This is one jam and this is the second jam. This base surface is called the sill and the edge on top is the edge of the lintel. These are the main parts of the window. For deriving the plan, we will make a section plane which cuts the window. This is the section plane. The section plane cuts the wall around the jam and these are drawn in thick lines. The plaster lines around these walls also get cut, but they are depicted with thin lines. Thin lines because they are the finishing on the wall and not structural. The finished edge of the sill are seen as elevation lines away from the section plane. And these lines in blue graphically represent the window unit. This completes the plan of a window. This wall is cut by the section plane. So is this one. This represents the back edge of the sill, which is here. This represents the front edge of the sill, which is here. Let us revise this again as a 2D drawing. The walls around the jam are drawn dark as they are getting cut by the section plane. These are the jam. The plaster line around the walls and the sill line can be drawn as one thin line. The two parallel lines in the middle graphically represent the window. Walls getting cut are hashed and this is how brick walls are hashed. And then the naming of its parts. This naming is only for your understanding. Mind you, in floor plans and window details, you may not name these parts unless something special is to be explained. And this is the depiction of the window in plan. A quick revision. The walls and the jam are drawn in thick lines as they are getting cut by the section plane. Sill lines are drawn with thin lines as they are beyond the section plane and this completes the plan. It is important to use the variation in line thickness of building elements getting cut by section plane and those beyond the section plane. The following example will clarify this better. The plaster line is drawn depending on the scale of a drawing. In this case, we are not drawing the plaster line.
In the first example, all building elements are drawn with the same line thickness. In the second example, variation in line thickness has been used depending on the elements getting cut or visible beyond. Example 2 is a good way of depiction. Example 1 is not so good. In any architectural drawing, variation of line thickness creates a better drawing and also helps in better understanding of the idea, detail or design. Make sure whenever possible use variation in line thickness to make good expressive drawings. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.